<coughs> good morning students today we are going to see about uh, uh, senna <coughs> that is already uh, we have discussion about the general glycosides um, and and also we have seen about cardiac glycosides in previous classes and now we are going to see about uh, senna is an androsine glycoside um, before uh, going to the class i want to thank you all my students for uh, uh, being attentive to the webinar and also made it success and um, and also you listen to the messages which i have given and also you just uh, uh, gone through uh, according to the youtube and, uh, uh, and there was some internet um, disturbance for that i regret we asked for sorry but anyhow uh, it was we managed to uh, have that webinar in a successful manner by means of all of the students uh, support and uh, uh, with your um, encouragement and i want to inform you always you have to have a habit of putting off your audio and video when we want to talk that time only we have to unmute then only uh, the speakers when they are giving some lecture or when and somebody is transmitting through the um, <coughs> to the net and to the google meet or any media it will be feasible for listening to others i hope you might have understood that. and also we have seen some uh difficulties and parameters which we might have observed but anyhow i have seen uh, very good uh, uh, positive and uh, uh, very good amazing uh, 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 results from uh, our students uh, by their cooperation and uh, uh, doing a well um, <coughs> Uh, set organized uh, uh, manner and uh, it was very interesting to have you all in the webinar and also we are planning to give another webinar in future so for example even uh, there are uh, most of them uh, uh, i don't want to boast if you say you may think oh you so know my students who are in uh, certain companies they are general manager especially in uh, uh, in but usa people are not ready to come but in uh, especially dubai and uh, in uae there is an many companies are there group of companies which they are giving opportunities for the pharmacist after their degree level we are not going for any <coughs> higher level because you when you complete the degree uh, can i get a job or can i get an opportunity to uh, serve and also to support my family this is the only concept behind all the students will have all the youngsters will have so uh, i hope that type of opportunity if we get we can have on webinar with the people who can tell about the opportunities how to apply how to get the opportunities after completing your degree and how we can uh, cope up with the um, interviews and how to proceed these all things and also engagement type of uh, uh, simple webinar can also be uh, not simple it's an important but not subjective it was somewhat uh, that type of webinar is also needed it is my concept anyhow if Uh, um, our staff members and students and the management if they are <coughs> uh, giving any um, uh, information and they are uh, they accept my request and uh, so that we will be having a nice uh, webinar in the future anyhow thank you thank you for everyone and also as i informed you in the webinar most some of them might have listen or some of them might not have seen my message we have some limitation in google 
uh, meet actually 100 uh, uh, person can be accommodated so that we streamline of uh, um, YouTube stream live stream in which we have opened the same thing is applicable for even certificate also certificate is not generated automatically by them we have to design we have to keep everything like what you are getting now certificate some of the students might have got huh? so we have to wait only 100 is allowed because there is some uh, it's, 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 there is some restriction for them, limitations for different, you may be knowing premium and uh, there is some uh, monthly, yearly payments if you are doing then you will get the premium account and something suit can be purchased but we don't, uh, we are doing with, uh, you can see that is normal account even I am using my account and the normal simple accounts we are having. So we have to wait for 100. So, every time we will be 100, 100 we are sending. So, it is necessary whenever you are going for webinar, you have to be very uh, careful in writing your email ID. If you are mistake, uh, it will be difficult. Again, some students, they some of them that delegates, they used to send, sir, I have typed my email wrongly. So, whatever, if you write email wrongly, you will not get the reply of the email. Understand, you have to register again, but there is limitation is there again. So that is why we can, we can adjust but only after finishing all the um, participant certificates and compliance solving then only we can go for these type of compliance can be solved. So anyhow uh, some mistakes will be there from our sides and also when we are, we are human being we cannot be perfect always. So if there is any mistakes which we have done we have to consider, we have to forgive and we will correct it in the future. Uh, we had some difficulties also we found out and we will try to manage in the next time. Anyway, we hope the best in the future. Now we will go to the subject. Uh, uh, the glycosides we have discussed and many chemical tests we have studied last classes and also we have come across the examination for the first session also you have appeared. I hope we might have read, I told as you told, don't copy and write, it will take long time. You have to read and you have to be ready for the exam so that you can save the time and also the uploading and everything can be done according to the specified time you can complete your exam. So always students uh, be uh, useful of this online classes don't take it as a simple like I have some work and this and that. No, this is you are as a regular class. You have to take it as a regular class. You have to work for it. Understand? Then only you will come up. Uh, not only come up, you are, your future is in your hand as I said. And uh, so, please be attentive and please be uh, what we are saying because there is some limitations. We cannot come and directly this in virtual this type of teaching there is some uh, difficulties are there understand you can you can do uh, many type of uh, um, uh, behind the screen uh, you can do whatever you like may be perfect may not be but it depends upon you what is my future you have to think I am doing for me my future my education, I have paid, my parents have paid for me, my parents and my family is behind me to get something reward from me, that is what you have to do, I have some duty or you can think that God has given some work, I have to do it, uh, that is what you have. see for example, even if you feel that uh, there is sometimes using this coat, suit and something coming here, this and all something just to make the students to listen to me that's all understand or some degree or something like that no but I feel that it's my job it's my job not only for, for the monetary benefit it's the job or it's a it's it's a blessing and it's the it's one of the gift which is given by God to deliver the things to the students understand and to it should reach so I am doing my work let's say that's what everybody when you have some work when you with students if you given some work Try to satisfy, try to do for your satisfaction, not for a monetary benefit or not for others in your store, bias will be there. We will be having our own conscious. 
am I doing right or wrong? Am I doing this is for my society or my my children? Is whether it is good or bad, or my colleague it is good or bad will be known to by every individual will be knowing. So according to your conscious, do it. You will succeed, and we will see the best. And now we will go to the class Senna. Senna is an example of androquin glycoside. And you can see it is, uh, for example, you can see is an is an example of androquin glycoside. Senanin Senna leaf. It is Tirunelveli Senna. Actually, the spelling for Tirunelveli. It is an it is a state. It is a district or it is a city which is available in Tamil Nadu. Tirunelveli. Even uh, even I, I I am staying not nearby Tirunelveli. Somewhat 60 kilometers away. It's an in, in near to. I am staying in the border to the uh, um, Kerala, but it is uh, it's it it is a uh, Tirunelveli is uh, a town which is present in um, in uh, Kerala and also in, not in Kerala in Tamil Nadu, but it is also having border like Tenkasi and you can see the Tenmalai. This all comes to this Tirunelveli Tenkasi district where this Senna is plenty available and they have identified and they have given the Tirunelveli Senna name actually. Understand Alexandrian Senna and Tirunelveli Senna are the famous Senna. In that Alex, Tirunelveli Senna is very famous and they have identified most of, that is why this, but the spelling they have given Tinnaveli, they pronounce in the, in the, in the, in the, in the language so that the Tinnaveli, but we used to write Tirunelveli. But you can also use Tinnaveli, that means Tinnaveli, you have to remember that is Tirunelveli, they have pronounced that is spelling, that is not a spelling mistake, even I saw in the internet also, in some place they are using Tirunelveli, some place they are using Tinnaveli. But anyhow, if you know the meaning, understood, that is sufficient for us to go into the subject. So, Tinnaveli Senna, Alexandrian Senna, Cassia Senna, Indian Senna. And the biological source, it consists of dried leaflets of Cassia angustifolia. Cassia angustifolia. Angustifolia, very nice to pronounce. You have to just two, three times when you pronounce, it will be easy for the students to study. Cassia angustifolia. Or you can say Cassia senna. Well, and also it is called as Tirunal Veli senna. Internal Veli. What is available, the, 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 it is identified as Cassia angustifolia and Cassia acutifolia. Cassia acutifolia, uh, Delili is the scientist name, it is called Alexandrian Senna, family Leguminaceae. So, there are two plants, you can see the uh, uh, picture which I have shown uh, in my slide below my picture. You can see the Cassia Acoustifolia and uh, Cassia Acoustifolia. The flowers, the colors also um, not by the photographic, it's slightly different in their color, slightly yellowish, orange and yellowish. Uh, you can see that color difference. And also the flowering, the petals also have some shape slightly different. Even leaf also, not much difference in their, they all are uh, compound uh, um, leaf. But anyhow, they are uh, the leaves are um, slabbing slight difference. The constituents also uh, we can see not much, but anyhow the same constituents that is androsine glycosides. And what is the androsinocytes? A, B, C. We will see. And also it is very simple for you to remember this plan. And also this leaf is very important for you to have the study in uh, in lab. Actually, you have to go for. Microscopy and macroscopy and the chemical tests are all important for uh, senna, senna leaf. So, you have to remember senna leaf we are taking and it is most commonly used as for constipation patients and also it has very good uh, laxative effect which is uncomparable. There are many products are also available and how much the herbal products are now um, so now having the importance in the whole world everybody should understand it is a very very uh, interesting plant uh, anyhow we will go to the uh, next slide like uh, it is a geographical sources 
when you see geographical sources cassia acustifolia that is indian senna or trinalveli senna is cultivated in trinalveli madurai tamil nadu ramanadapuram district and um, even in andhra pradesh gujarat and rajasthan and and cassia acutifolia is an alexandrian senna is indigenous to tropical africa and is cultivated in sudan middle and upper nile territory senna is used as cathartic cathartic means you should know that what is cathartic cathartic means you have to have an idea very clearly because as a pharmacist you will come across this cathartic word in pharmacology also so you should know laxative purgative cathartic laxative is mild evacuation of the bowel smooth laxative purgative means little more stronger evacuating of the bowel cathartic means completely Uh, cleaning the bowel when there is something poison or something or taken you will use cathartic to remove the evacuate completely the bowel and the poisonous substance to remove from the git so cathartic so you should uh, remember even when i was teaching for the uh, in the cathartic means i used to say some example for the students uh, um, in in various other universities when i taught i used to say for simple sir what is that please give some example for us to understand so we used to say one uh, banana if you take in the night morning you will have laxative if you take a uh, of uh, three or four or five bananas together and if you take five six if there is more and you are eating simply more then you will become purgative it means little more uh, uh, evacuation little more diarrhea like that it may be there and if you see if you take 20 or 30 30 tablet and not tablet that bananas simply eating what will happen you will get cathartic so dosage is also having some impact in laxative purgative cathartic action also there are some drugs also is there difference in their potency also you will get this uh, laxative purgative cathartic so senna is usually used as an laxity actually here i have to added cathartic from ancient times and it is also included in inani system of medicine near about 26 species are well known which contain andrasin derivatives in free form or in glycosidic stage so it is a glycoside it is an andrasin glycoside the glycoside means there will be an a glycan part and a glycan part it is having a sugar part so among these cassia angustifolia and cassia acutifolia are in official monograph of pharmacopias there are many other senna species are there dog senna like that there are many but these two of them are official most of them are adulteration and some of them there are many varieties are there like how we are studying aloes so now we will go to the next slide so cultivation there are they are not there there are they are available abundantly for the cultivation of senna near about 25000 hectares land used in india which produce 22000 tons of leaves and 75000 tons fruits per year it is a small shrub having 1.5 meter height containing compound peripinnate leaves compound peripinnate leaves generally the red bloomy are coarse gravelly soil is required for its better cultivation but it can also grow in alluvial loamy soil the land is ploughed twice before sowing of seeds the sowing is done by broadcasting method first sowing should be done in february or march whereas second sowing 
can be done in month of October or November. So this is what the some information about cultivation. Seeds are hard and tough seed coats. Certain amount of abrading of its surface is necessary to induce quick germination. Certain amount of abrading because it is hard seed coat. So abrading is needed for. So it is achieved by pouring the seed slightly with coarse sand in a mortar, mortar and pestle. About 20 to 25 kg per hectare seeds are required. So when you put some abrasiveness or by means of mortar and pestle or as we have seen sometimes even in the ground also some uh, cultivators can use they used to rub it the seeds so that the seed will get germinate very faster that is an idea. So the plant will favor light irrigation it favors light irrigation for better development water logging or heavy irrigation should be avoided. It is sun loving crop grows at an early summer February to March or a winter October to November. Leguminaceous fertilizers are applied time to time. Leguminaceous family, there is some fertilizers list which I have not given there but the leguminaceous fertilizers are usually applied time to time, especially nitrogen supply and urea, the supplies can be frequently we have to do it. And the plants are allowed to grow for about 5 months till flower stock get developed. The harvesting can be done after 2 to 3 months in this stage. In the first stage, the leaves are plucked out when leaflets are thick, fully grown and green in color. The second plucking should be done after one month and the third plucking should be done after four to six weeks. So after third plucking, the plants are uprooted. The senocidal content is maximum when leaves are fully grown. So, you have to give some time and it, everything have to be done according to the uh, thing which is, uh, you have to give some time for the development of the plant structure. So, especially leaf. It is observed that the senna yields, yield is good if it is cultivated after rice crop on the same field. So, when some agriculturist who is having rice paddy cultivation, once he can cultivate the paddy and he can go for the next one for Senna, so that he can get a good yield for the paddy also, the next yield and also for Senna production also can be done. That is what they have observed. After collection, the leaves are dried under shade by spreading them in thin layers. The leaves are dried after 10 to 12 days and turned yellowish green in color. The leaves are separated and packed into bales under vacuum and stored in dark and cool place. The leaves can be used up to 5 years because it does not lose its potency. So, five years it can be stored and it can be sold. So, you can see this uh, video which will give you some idea about this plantation. I hope you can see this video how it is uh, uh, shown for you. You can see here that is the um, flowers, how the flowering tops and uh, these are ports actually, flower and the ports, uh, their cultivation, uh, just uh, taken the 
uh, how they are keeping uh, stream uh, it doesn't needs much uh, uh, um, um, I think watering a little watering is needed in the initial stage for germination and the growth and afterwards if you, it will be giving a good yield and it is a shrub as we shown how and you can see the green color um, uh, sheets they have covered there for drying purpose not dry directly sunlight so that they will get uh, after collecting the leaf they should dry and watering this is just uh, uh, the video we have shown how and because they have started bore wells and uh, watering can be done and you can see that this is the area where they used to use collect uh, the plant and the leaves and then they will bring to the area the greenhouse area and they will dry them and they will pack them and it will be exported and uh, you can see the area where they are using this much long because while collecting it will be a huge uh, um, amount of uh, compound the leaves will be collected so it will be collected and dried and then it will be packed so this is just to show about the plants even you might have seen this plant very commonly in the roadsides when you go for the roadsides you can see that it is very common so now we are coming to uh, the macroscopical characters of our uh, senna leaf so macroscopical character the external character or uh, what we can say it is an uh, uh, the decision microscope which we can see not the original compound microscope we can see the observed plant uh, the leaf uh, how the shape of the leaf color of the leaf odor of the leaf taste of the leaf these all things organoleptic characters these all comes under this macroscopic characters so macroscopic character color is yellowish green odor slight taste miscellaneous miscellaneous and bitter size 20 to 60 millimeter in length and 7 to 8 millimeter in width shape leaves are lanceolate entire apex is acute is acute lanceolate acute apex and with spines at the top spine at the top other characters are small perennial under shrub below 1 meter in height with ascending branches flowers are bright yellow in color the full grown leaflet limits characteristics smell when crushed flowers are not season bound and are grown between 35 to 70 days of age the other species is very similar to cassia angustifolia in morphology and the growth except in the dimension of its leaflets and the pores which are shorter and narrow this we can see the difference now this is a picture which i am showing about the microscopy the microscopical character this is a schematic diagram not the original cells this is schematic means just we are an outline uh, which we will be imaginary and also which, which will be similar to what we can see exactly in the microscope this has shown this picture when you see the, the shape which is coming down that is the area it is midrib region actually understand midrib a leaf will have a midrib the vein the middle vein will be projected and there will be many veins we can you might study that vein islet number stomatal index these all are our practicals which we have not done even in the previous semester but in previous semester it is a must for the students to do vein islet number 
fiber length these all things should have been done and we should have completed and ash values what all the things and even this semester also we are lagging in practicals but anyhow we will we will, we will have a chance lord will give us soon to do our practical sections and the pharmacy means without practical it's not possible understand only an online or a theory will not do for to be and fulfill a pharmacist so you see the picture now this an outline you have an upper epidermis lower epidermis and you see that palisade upper palisade cells like a long long is a special cells palisade cells which can be seen in senna and uh, in the midrib region you can see fiber group there is for example when you see fibers lignified fibers will be seen there and down you can see the round round xylem in between xylem there will be phloem xylem will be there means phloem fibers will also will be there vascular bundles a collective xylem and phloem will also will be seen in that blade area blade means a leaf will be having a blade uh, in middle mid, midrib and side of the blade area you can see the vascular bundles xylem fiber group also seen below uh, this midrib xylem region area and you can see below palisade cells will come in the lower epidermis and when it come to the lower bottom area and there is a difference in colon chema there is a colon it is brick and colon chema cells that is the difference when you diagram when you draw the students should know the difference see upper epidermis continuously the palisade cells are going upper palisade lower palisade comes continuously in the blade area when it comes to the midrib region just it is occupied by colon chema cells and epidermis and colon chema cells you can see there are calcium oxalate crystals and fiber group also there and you can see that very clearly trichomes there is hair or trichomes usually they are seen unicellular trichomes can be seen in senna understand so microscopical character just i am just going through what i have given in the slide being iso bilateral iso bilateral leaf senna shows more or less similar features at both the surfaces both the surfaces up and down of the leaf with few differences transverse section of life shows or leaf shows upper and lower epidermis with the straight walled cells few of which with mucilage few of which is mucilage that's why the taste we said that it has a mucilaginous taste is there understand can you follow that is like that we have to remember about senna this is a picture of the senna which is the original little more original picture which we can have an idea about this you see that upper epidermis lower epidermis and xylem and they are surrounded by phloem cells colon chema is present in the lower epidermal area and lower palisade cells and afterwards colon chema comes palisade cells how the this is the how you have to draw the diagram palisade cells and saprophytes means cluster of calcium oxalate crystals actually we have written in the previous calcium oxalate crystals can also be seen in the blade area and also the it is scleren chema sheath means we have shown that there is a fiber area where is scleren chema sheath will be there you can see that scleren chema sheath and fiber area will be also seen below the xylem phloem vessels and you can see there is a crystal sheath crystalline sheath means calcium oxalate crystalline sheath will be there and you can see trichomes covering trichomes unicellular trichomes covering trichomes can be seen upper epidermis and lower epidermis spongy parenchyma can be seen in the mus that is mesophilaria and upper epidermis lower epidermis so same thing once you study the parts of the microscopy and when you do the section how you can take the section of a micro uh, uh, leaf in the lab the student will be very very confident and he may get uh, amazing results from that so parasitic stomata and non lignified 
unicellular trichomes are found on both the surface. The, a single layer of palisade parenchyma is observed at both the sides, but it is discontinued in the midrip region of lower epidermis due to the zone of colon chematis tissues. So that is what we have to remember about the microscopical character and palisade is followed by spongy mesophyll which contains cluster crystals of calcium oxalate and the vascular strands midrib shows the vascular bundle containing xylem and the phloem almost surrounded by lignified pericyclic fibers and a sheath of parenchyma which contains prismatic crystals of calcium oxalate. So now we are coming to the powder microscopy of Senna powder by means of how a pharmacist can identify. In Senna powder you can see in microscopy epidermis with polygonal cells unicellular thick walled trichomes can also be seen very clearly with stomata especially stomata can be seen parasitic stomata with hairs means we have to tell about the trichomes can be seen that is parasitic stomata the cells which is present around the stomata is parallel which already we have given in the previous uh, discussion about uh, uh, the datura not datura is belladonna and about uh, digitalis i have given stomata different types of stomata how it will be there this is parasitic stomata where we have seen animocytic stomata so stomata is differed by means of the name how they are the presence of the cell around the stomata that we have to read you have to refer in the back the syllabus what we have, uh, what you have covered and the unicellular unicellular papillos non glandular hairs can also be seen under the epidermal cells a single row of palisade layer can also be seen in the powder microscopy so in powder microscopy whatever you are seeing already we have seen in the complete structure when you take a ts transverse section what you have seen when it is crushed into powder you can get all the cells in different forms what we have seen there so by that you can identify this is senna understand that is what we have to do and you can see go for the next even 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 you can see in powder microscopy senna leaf powder microscopy can be seen on the adaxial surface cluster crystals of calcium oxalate distributed throughout the lacinose tissue lacinose tissue you can see on the adoxial surface cluster crystals of calcium oxalate distributed throughout the lacinose tissue and you can see even the crystals can be seen in the powder microscopy in this form there is crystal sheath a gutter shape group of similar fiber on the abaxial side containing prismatic crystals of calcium oxalate and you see the chemical constituents of senna generally we know that it is androkin glycosides and senna contains senoside a and b 2.5 percentage based on the a glycon senoside a and b senoside c and d which are glycosides of hetero diandrones hetero diandrones andrones double bond o andrones andrones understand diandrones of alloamodin and ruin are present others include palmidin a ruin andron and alloamod sorry ruin 
androne and aloemodine glycosides. Senna also contain free chrys that is chrysophenol amodine and their glycosides are free aloemodine roin and their monoandrones diandrones and their glycosides are present. Mucilage is present in the epidermis of the leaf and gives red color when you add ruthenium red. So, mucilage will change their color into ruthenium red color when you add ruthenium red as a reagent. So, that can also be an identification in the leaf structure can be identified. And this is the structure. You see the structure. It's a three-membered, three-six-membered ring structure. Two double bond O's, diandrones. They have double bond O, OH group in the in both the place. And you can see that is C6, H11, O6 attached to the O. That means it is a sugar part, and this is. A glycan part, glycan part and A glycan part attached in O. So that's what you have to remember. That is an sugar part and then A glycan part. So this is what we have to remember. That is in a glycoside, O linkage glycoside, androsine glycoside. So what is the difference? Only that radical R is different. That means semi side A means C O O H. Semicide B means again C O O H. Both of them are isomers. Only thing is one is trans and one is meso. And C also, if you have C H two O H, and D is also having C H two O H, but the C is trans and D is meso. So what is this? There is isomers. Trans and the meso and trans and cis isomers. You might have studied. That is what they are mentioned there. Where is this geometrical isomerism in this structure? They have chiral carbon atom. They have position of two similar atoms, hydrogens, in the tenth position. That is why they have mentioned that in the picture, ten and ten dash. Why they have to put the ten and ten dash? We have to remember. So in ten and ten dash. You will get the hydrogen atoms present in the same side. They are they are meso type or cis type, and when they are uh, they are in the opposite side, then they are in the trans. So to make you to understand this more clearly, I made another slide. You see the another slide. In this slide, you can see. What about this senoside A and senoside C? They are trans form. They are trans isomeric form. See the hydrogen in the tenth position. They are in the trans. They are in the trans position. They are in the opposite position. So that makes this compound to be. Trans isomeric compound senoside A and senoside C, and the C the structure next one, and it is having cis configuration here and also meso you can say meso configuration of compounds senoside B and senoside D, and it is very very easy to write this structure. No difficulty. Only thing is, it looks like a big uh, chemical structure. It is a very simple for a student if you practice and if you know that, if you understand and if you listen to me, it is easy. What is a trans? What is meso? If you know, or what is trans and what is cis? If you know, it is easy for you to identify and also you should write that there are three six-membered ring structure. <coughs> And they have two, two, three, six member, three, six member, three, six member. There are six. So they have quinone double bond. Oh, 
in the top and double bond O here and OH and only there is a difference in the R COOH and the CH2OH alcoholic and also I can say methanolic or you can say acidic so it will help you to remember the structure and to write very clearly now we will come to here the Senna leaf also contain other androkin glycosides in small amount they are Senocytes C and D ruin 8 glycosides ruin 8 to 2 diglucoside and aloemodin it also contain phytosterol mucilage resin myricyl alcohol chrysophenolic or sorry chrysophenic acid salicylic acid chemical tests already we have come across bone dragger tests and also we have studied the modified bone dragger test also we have studied so when you see here this is O glycoside linkage so there is no modified bone dragger test is needed the sugar molecule is attached with the senoside A B C D all of them are attached by O linkage so O linkage O glycoside only you need bone tracker test no need to add ferric chloride solution but when you want a modified bone tracker test if it is an C glycoside here it is O glycoside linkage andresin glycoside what you have seen here is O linkage so the drug is mild with dilute sulfuric acid and filtered to the filtrate add benzene or ether or chloroform and shake well separate the organic layer and slowly add ammonia into it so pink to red color is it shows in the ammonical layer which confirms the presence of androskin or androquinone glycosides understand it's very simple and this is a structure I have just shown back and now we can see the uses of senna senna leaves are used as laxative it causes irritation of large intestine and have some gripping effect thus they are prescribed along with carminatives senna is stimulant cathartic and exerts its action by increasing the tone of the smooth muscle in large intestine it is marketed in one of the ingredients of preparation known as constivake soft work in lupin manufacturing uh, herbal manufacturing laboratory lupin they have a special division and isova powder cool tab tablets from wasu healthcare so you see this is a product and also i want to show next products like cool tab also which we have dis discussed and also this is the powder isova isova powder is also available and now we want to see about alide drug cassia polo carpa cassia auriculata palti can be called cassia ovoleta dog senna and difference between Alexandrian Senna and the Trinal Valley Senna is not very big likely it is there they have studied many researches they have done so we want to know about that also because they both are the mainly all pharmacopoeias are using it can be used for Senna for various herbal preparation or in even any type of uh, usage it can be used by pharmacopoeia they have given this specification so the study I have done for these two species that is Alexandrian Senna and the Trinal Valley or Trinna Valley Senna you say Alexandrian
Alexandrian Sinna is seldom exceed 40 millimeter length and Thinnel Veli Sinna is 50 millimeter length. Color grayish green, yellowish green, the Thinnel Veli Sinna. More asymmetric at base, less asymmetric in base of the leaf. More broken and curled at edges and seldom broken and usually flat. And somatal index is about 10 to 15, usually 12 to 12.5 and about 14 to 20, usually 17.5 is somatal index in Tinnaveli Senna. So when you, this tomato index is not very important parameter in the practical, this pharmacist should know. And the vein islet number, vein islet number also we have, vein islet number is about 25 to 29.5 in Alexandrian Senna. And about only 19.5 to 22.5 vein islet number, that is a range which the, when you are doing, they have given. And next you can see the picture of Alexandrian Senna and the Tinnaveli Senna and this next one is pods, the seed, the pod also dried for when cultivation next you have to go for taking the seeds so that's why it is also shown their pods, Senna pods and this is a leaf how they are having the structure similar only slight color difference will be there not that much also not much difference slightly. So, different, again the continuous seventh one like difference between the Alexandrian Senna is first and the second one is uh, I have not written in the slide but you should understand the seventh point is most stomata have two subsidiary cells here two to three subsidiary cells can be seen in Thrinal Valley Senna here more numerous that means we are talking about trichomes numerous trichomes and less numerous, not much like Alexandrian Senna. Ether extract of hydrolyzed acidic magnesium acetate solution of drug gives and methanolic ma magnesium acetate solution. On addition, you can see a pink color in the daylight can be seen in Alexandrian Senna. Orange color in daylight can be seen in Thinnel Valley Senna. Pale green orange in the filtered in UV light you can see Alexandrian Senna and yellow green can be seen in Thinnel Valley Senna. And next in TLC, when you go for TLC experiment, they have seen that there is an identification of 6 hydroxy uh, mosigen uh, is present in Alexandrian Senna. And the tinnelvalin glycoside is also special glycoside, different from senoside glycoside. They are observed in tinnelvalin. Are they? That's why they mentioned that tinnelvalin senna is glycoside. So anyhow, thank you for being with me in this class. Uh, I'm not going to give you any questions today. Uh, so take. A while the rest in next class we will give the uh, questions on the Monday for this class. Anyhow, this is a small class about Senna. Understand? So please go through. Don't accumulate and don't make yourself tough by making lump of just simply read and understand source, family, constituents. Very few drugs we are selected for microscopy cultivation. So there you have to concentrate because according to the syllabus you just go through the syllabus. They are not told for all drugs you have to study cultivation collection and all the drugs you have to study microscopy. So microscopy and cultivation specific wherever I am giving and also you can, you can see the syllabus also. Go through it and do it. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.